that's cold. Wow. I think I'm going to rename my channel The Crazy Life of Amelia because it just seems like nothing I do makes my life less crazy. I don't know. If you could tell, I'm sick. So this has now been twice this month, which has been so nice. And I'm sick again. I'm actually getting better than worse. Better than worse. I don't know how, but on Sunday, um, so Saturday we had a Christmas special at my church and I was in the choir at that point. And then um, <coughs> on Sunday I sang on the praise team and um, <coughs> uh, my lovely fiance, we're engaged, was in the choir behind me. But um, so, he, I don't know how I sing, but I did because my voice sounds like this and this is a little bit better than what it did sound like, but this tea is now cold because I moved <coughs> and cleaned my entire house today and it's been long and I also had two counseling clients and it has just, it has been a day. And then tomorrow I had to do the rest of it. So I just wanted some warm tea. It didn't happen. But anyways, let's rewind. Um, so if you heard that correctly, I'm engaged, which I'm super excited about. It's actually, you see it? Yeah, that's good. Don't look at my nail. Yeah, so it's purple, which I love because I love purple things. So you can tell, um, wearing a purple jacket. <coughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, but if you follow me on Instagram, which a lot of y'all do, you've already seen that we, uh, me and my fiance, uh, got engaged two weeks ago at this point. Um, and it was funny because the last video I posted with him in it, he actually said that he was fake being irritated. So if he seemed irritated in the video, he was faking it because he wanted to wait until after we got engaged so I can introduce him as my fiance instead of boyfriend. So he said all week long, he was like, I don't want to make the video. I don't want to do it because he just wanted to be introduced as my fiance instead of my boyfriend because he knew that <coughs> the day after that video, he was going to propose. So, um, that's just super exciting like we are just so excited and um, I am going to make a video some other time just about um, the journey of being a single chaplain candidate um, on the dating journey and uh, meeting somebody and what that was kind of like and it is a little different it's a little different of a journey so um, being somebody in ministry even but I'm definitely gonna make a video about that it might not be for a little bit uh, tomorrow I'm actually picking up a chaplain candidate he's up in my area and we're gonna drive all the way down to uh, New Orleans this week and I'm gonna drop him off and I'm gonna spend some time in New Orleans so he'll probably be on this channel and then um, I'm gonna drive back and <coughs> It's going to be Christmas time, so I told my fiance the only thing I wanted for Christmas was a proposal. So he did that. <laughs> so he doesn't have to give me anything now. But um, yeah, my life's been a little crazy. Um, it's been the second week, I believe, that I have uh, quit my full-time job. And that has just consistently been a blessing. And um, some really good news. Um... Another video I want to make is about uh, a, a big reason why I was having a full-time job is because I'm over 26. That's my cat going crazy. Featuring my cat. Whoa, blurred out. Um, <coughs> it's because since I'm over 26, I have to have health insurance. So um, I was going to... I got a full-time job mainly so that I could have health insurance. Um, so I'm going to make another video about how I'm doing that now and what has been just an amazing blessing for me so far. Um, <coughs> wow. It's getting to me. It's been a long day. 
I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna make another video about that to see if that can help any of y'all also. Uh, that insurance that I'm using now. Um, I don't know where I'm at in wanting to make videos. I don't know, but just going back, um, quitting my job has just been, just been an amazing blessing. And these last two weeks I've actually every single day been so packed full of stuff that I wouldn't have been able to do unless I quit my job and a lot of it's been wedding planning so far. And, um, we're getting married in September, which we're really excited about. Um, I also in between the last video have gone to drill. So my time was filled with that. And, um, <coughs> I'll say I'll make another video about that. Oh, so, <coughs> wow. Definitely have a lot of videos coming, which is great because I have time now after Christmas. Um, hopefully I will have some time during Christmas. Um, so if you can't tell, I'm in a different room now. So I actually did move back with my dad until the wedding, um, because it's been less than a year and yeah I just didn't see a point of signing another lease for somewhere when I'm only here for less than a year so um yeah and that was a big a big part of the decision to quit my job and to move back with my dad is because I knew that uh, pretty soon I would be getting engaged and married so that really helped out a lot um but <coughs> If y'all want to keep more updated with me, my Instagram is the best place to do that at. Sorry, I'm whispering. I can barely talk. Um, my Instagram. So y'all have been just amazing. Like when I got engaged, y'all were just over the moon excited for me sending me messages. And it was just amazing. And I have just I consistently just feel so blessed to have y'all as a family and a community and just being able to you know, y'all are there for me as much as I'm there for some of y'all. So that is just, I love it. I love it so much. And I really appreciate, um, there's been a lot of y'all supporting me, um, sending me messages about quitting my job. And I can't tell you how much that means to me. Like it just, it's just confirmation when you, when y'all do stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. And it is just, it's just great. Cause you know, we don't know each other. We don't, I don't know. Um, some of y'all have met people that I know and some of y'all have actually met me in person, <laughs> which is pretty cool. But, um, it's just really cool that we can have that connection. So my baddies are about to die. <coughs> Hopefully soon y'all will get to meet my friend Dan. He's actually been on this channel before. Um, and we'll see you next in New Orleans. So cheers to that. Happy engagement. I'm going to post up a picture of us getting engaged. So, um, if y'all have any questions, again, uh, send me, shoot me an Instagram. Um, tell me how, if you need prayers, I'll be praying for you. Um, if y'all will pray for me too. And we will just walk through the ministry together. So y'all have a great whatever morning or night. I don't know. Get your hot cup of tea. Don't get sick. And good night. Is like super quick because my battery is dying um i wanted to tell y'all about my ring a little bit as you can tell it is extremely unique so what happened is um marcus since he was in the army he deployed twice um and his last time when he was in afghanistan he bought uh, four tanzanite stones because there's actually um, some that you could mine out of afghanistan so he bought them there and they are rare, so they just increase in value. And he came back to America, he wanted to actually sell them, uh, make a profit off of them, but then decided that he, instead he would make a engagement ring. And he did, wasn't dating anybody at the time. Sorry about my cat. Um, he wasn't dating anybody at the time. He just, I don't know, something came upon him to make a unique ring. So he spent a fair amount of money on this unique ring. And then he actually saved the other stones because he wants his his kids to have them either for their own engagement rings or for our sons to get give them to um, to whoever they get engaged to. So I love the story behind my ring. Um, it is completely custom made. He made it all out of his own um, vision, and he has kept it 
um, for five years waiting for somebody to be engaged to. So I just, I've heard about the ring since the first week we started dating and I just kept praying that I would be the one to receive it. And I didn't see it till we got engaged. And when I saw the ring, like he proposed and I was like looking at him and looking at the ring and looking at him and I was screaming yes the whole time because I was so excited to say yes to him. And we were up in the Smoky Mountains and um, that's where he proposed and it was beautiful. But I just, I'm just so thankful that you know, the, the Lord makes plans for us so ahead of time before we even know it. And the Lord was investing in him. Um, even before he was really close with God, he was investing in him that, I don't know, I just like, I just kind of hope that God was telling him, you need to make a unique ring for a unique woman that you're going to be with. And it has been just an honor that I get to be that woman and I get to have um, this beautiful ring that just, it, I don't know, like it's just so special that he bought it when he was deployed and then made it when he came back home. So definitely a romance story. <laughs> um, so I love this ring and we're actually going, um, at first I was going to have a different color for the wedding and now I'm going to make it purple because <laughs> uh, I just... I don't know, I just love, well I love purple in the first place, but I just, I love the story behind the ring and I love his commitment to um, stay dedicated to whoever he was going to get married to and just thought about that person before he even knew me and thought about me as a person he was going to marry, you know, five years ago when he made this ring and he invested a lot of money into it before. So just just blessings that God watched over him, kept him safe, brought him home with the stones, and now I get to wear it. So again, here's my ring. Um, so the stone is actually from Afghanistan, which is, wow, blurry, um, which I'm, again, just really honored. But okay, heading out now. Have a great, fantastic night. Sorry about my cat that is trying to scratch his head on the stand. Um, I love y'all. There he goes again. <coughs> Thunder. But come here. Um, I love y'all and I, if I don't see y'all before Christmas, have a good Christmas and a great New Year's.